Alrighty, here we go. So, just a quick rundown of what we're trying to do here. Basically going for a uh, sorcerer focused on vulnerability and getting benefits from that. So, this makes frozen enemies vulnerable. That increases damage output basically so that things die faster. It's always good. Same thing with Frozen Orb. Chance to make all enemies vulnerable. And it always makes frozen enemies vulnerable. So lots of freezing, lots of enemies becoming vulnerable. And because we're hardcore, just a lot of defensive stats. Teleport is my main defensive skill, but then I also have invested some points in ice armor and frost nova frost nova and ice armor i am actually using as enchantments i haven't unlocked the uh second enchantment yet so right now it's just frost armor so basically every now and then it'll just go off on its own same thing will happen with frost nova eventually then summon some ice blades every now and again to again uh, make enemies vulnerable and eventually we'll want to do this to reduce our cooldowns because the sorceress has a bunch of cooldowns and the latest patch made the cooldowns even worse than they normally are it's fun um, and with blizzard we want eventually to get this one so that my uh, frozen orb, which is like my core skill, will be cheaper. And we're going to get down here and get our big skill, which is deep freeze. Uh, this one basically is another way of uh, reducing damage because it makes me unstoppable. Uh, the only other thing that makes me unstoppable is teleport. So that means uh, basically if I'm crowd controlled, like if I get frozen or if I get stunned, uh, I push the right button and uh, break free of it. Usually I hit the wrong button and then die. That's how it's been going. So there you go. Uh, in the early leveling game, unfortunately, it's super boring. All I'm trying to do is gain renown because that unlocks certain things, skill points, uh, potion capacity, which is huge. Um, right now I'm at five potion capacity. That's my health, basically. Uh, so the more potions I have, the longer I'm able to fight and survive. So there are five uh, regions and therefore five potions to unlock to get me up to nine potions, which is great so that's it that's all we're trying to do mostly we get renowned from doing side quests and unlocking waypoints and dungeons but the dungeons are scary because that's where the butcher can pop out and completely destroy me because i am way too low level to actually do anything so that's it let's go um uh, this is an easy one. We'll just go ahead and do this one. That's down here. Hopefully I survive this little side quest. Let's see if I would do. And here we go. This painting must be from before my mother's time. These days, art like. And there I did. It. I did a side quest. Look at me go. Making progress. All right. Now, 
Okay, well we got this one. So the next one is locked because I have to do it on Nightmare. So I've actually done everything that I can do at this point for this region. So I'm just going to go on to the next one. I'm actually going to go to Skosklin next. I think this is in alphabetical order yet. Er, no. Other than Fractured Peaks, it's in alphabetical order, but it's definitely not the order uh, that I would want to do this in. Because if we look at, say, ha 